Yeah, this bucket seat makes it hard to get in this car. But anyways, how's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Now before I start this video, I just want to show you guys something real quick. As you guys can imagine, I spend a hell of a lot of time in this car and therefore it's quite important that the place smells nice. So, Auto Essence have sent me something and I'm going to open it right on camera and show you guys what's in it. Right, check that out. Auto Essence proudly presents cold water, Aventos, 1ml, Savage, Boss Bottle. So Auto Essence have given me five bottles. They're all numbered one to five at the top. And you even get a menu. Now I've actually never ever ordered fragrances for a car and got five different ones in the same little box and had a little menu for which one I use. So that's pretty amazing already. I've never been able to smell cold water, but that's actually sort of what I'd imagine. Weird, but really nice. One mil. That's really nice. I like this one. I'm going to put this in my glove box. Keeping that 100% and the, the cold water one as well. That's nice. Number four is Savage. Ah, oh, I didn't realise it was pointing at me for that one. Um, smells good though. I am also asthmatic, so I'll probably need to go have my asthma pump quite soon. Number five is Boss Bottle. And uh, let me make sure I'm not pointing at my face. Again, really nice. I actually really like all of them. So, if you guys are looking for a new fragrance for your car, check out Auto Essence and let's get cracking on with today's video. Okay then, so today's video, I'm going to Colchester again. Um, I don't have much to do today, so I asked some of my friends, hey, should we meet up again and do a bit more Colchester car smoke? Because I didn't actually stay for that long in my last video. I sort of just looked around the dealerships, but today I'm hoping to spend a bit more time with my friends, Reese, Sam, and Jack, and actually get some content. Now, if you watch my last video, you know that my friend Reese with the white GT6 Aero, which has now been forged and turbocharged since it needed a rebuild, he failed to join us last time because his dipstick snapped and went into his engine. That's now fixed. Um, he had a couple of hairy turbo issues, but he's cleared a code and apparently he's working fine now. So I'm going to meet Reese at a Shell petrol station in Brentwood, which is about 50 minutes away from where I am now. And then I'm going to go to Colchester with Reese. So hopefully today I'll actually be able to give you guys some convoy content with a GT E6 turbo. So. I was literally sweating while getting in my car. I gave the whole car a wipe down before I decided to leave my house. But now that I'm out on the road and my window's open doing 70. So good. Now, the chances are I should be able to hear him before I see him. So I'll probably be able to film in time. But I also don't know which direction he's coming from, but either way, soon there should be a white GT. Ah, there he is. Look at him. Oh, it still sounds so good. Yes. A fully forged turbocharged GT86 with 400 brake horsepower. Oh, my days. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> it's so good to see you again. <laughs> I've got Reese with me now, and we're now going to go to Colchester to see Jack and Sam, and then they're going to. <laughs> I hope you can hear that. Oh my god, I just heard Turbo Nose come from his car. <laughs>
it's, can I see your engine bay, please? Yeah, the Thunder's on it, mate. It's, <laughs> fine, I'll do it myself. I can't remember where okay. GT86, um, is it even this side? Man. Is it actually? I didn't see shite just then. On the right. On the right. Oh. Right. No, I won't. No, I will. You won't. You won't. It's really fucking hot. I can't find it. Oh. Oh. Hey. Is it recording now? Yeah, it is. Nice. Um, <laughs> here, we have a GT86 with a. What is it? A, Jack, what's that name? The funny one for a turbo. I can't remember it. Yin Yang. Yin Yang Spinny Thang, that's it. <laughs> um, I don't know what to. Oh, it's a precision turbo. The turbo I'm getting for my Super is a precision turbo as well. Yeah. So I'm rather excited. <laughs> and um, mm, I don't really know what I'm talking about. You're too hard. There's things here <laughs> to make it faster. And it's worked. You've got a screamer pipe, haven't you? Oh, it sounded like it. Yeah, yeah. Does it come out the bottom? It just comes out, just down there. Let's see. Are you going to make it come out the bonnet at some point? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would that wouldn't suit the, this car the, at all. The bottom tray is already black as fuck from the flames. <laughs> I don't see any flames. No, at the bottom, but... from, from here. <laughs> oh, yeah, screamer pipes spit flames. I forgot about that. Yeah. Sorry. It's not It's not ridiculous. Like, holy that. shit, I'm here. Cheers, here. mate. <laughs> No, 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 go and have a look at the front end, mate. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Yeah, I didn't... I didn't document my static front plate fell off while driving. Paid £30 for that and now I have no front plate. But I actually really like it with no front plate. It's just not legal and I'm scared that I'm not going to make it home without getting pulled. At least I have another plate. I don't need to um, buy one. I just need to put the other one on with some Velcro or something. So, it's not so bad. BP free type part. That was a good call. Right. So back at the Ferrari dealership and Luso. Uh, Luso. 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 That's an FF. Then this looks <gasps> sick. That's a 48 challenge. Okay. So we've been spotting for about five ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I left the window of my Supra open and obviously I was like, shit, I need to go back and lock it. But at the same time, I'm like, watch when I go back and then I miss something while Jack Sam and Reese are like right there. These guys are looking at my car now. You right, mate? See you later. Anyways, um, while I'm alone, I just want to say it is so, so good to have Reese's car back on the road. Literally nine months since I saw this car. It's been freaking ages. I'm just annoyed because, uh, yeah, freaking front number plate went flying off the car. So now someone else has probably picked up my number plate. They're going to slap it on their car and go do 150 mile an hour everywhere. And I'm going to get fucked. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. But you know what people are like in this cruel world we live in. Right. Windows are shut. I'm going to get my drink as well. Shine! TJZ RX7! He's coming back. I hope he slows down. Me too. Oh, that's sick. I hope he turns in. I hope he turns in. <laughs> Um. Hey, oh shit, boy! <laughs> Super Sam's pulled in. <laughs> We're all running back to him now. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Mate, this sounds <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Is this a Supra? That's mine. Is it? That's yeah. Sick. Cheers. Blue one. Yeah, I've it's seen that. I've, I've seen that a few meets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's this engine. Like, that's, oh, you that's took it out of that? Yeah. Oh shit, nice. I saw the camera first, I was like, shit, is that... 
place and I was like, oh. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> oh, mate. Because you had like 800 or something like yeah, stupid like, power in that. Now. This is only oh, okay. like 520. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm aiming for with mine. Yeah, but it's a lighter car, so. Yeah, it goes it's much smaller. Well. Mate, he's got a freaking iPad as his display. <laughs> That's mental. That's so sick. It's got a mid pipe exhaust. And it's Rocket Boy, need not to mention. That's so cool, man. Really like that. See you in a bit, guys. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> right, it's been in for about an hour now, so I'm going to call it home time, I suppose. Uh, there's a police car just up there. He's driving off, though, luckily. And, yeah, so, I don't know, I've, I've probably said it a million times already. I'm now no front plate, and it's not on purpose. It's, it's just not intentional at all. It flew off legitimately. I checked the car, like, five times to make sure it wasn't actually in the car, and I just forgot to put it on, but no. It legitimately flew off. Uh, so I've got to drive back from Colchester to London with no front plate and hope I don't get pulled. I'll document what happens. Okay guys, I'm heading back home now and I'm super paranoid because for the first time, I think in my life, I'm driving with no front plate and a lot of you are probably just watching this like, oh, I've had no front plate for years, it's fine. But I live in London. There's feds everywhere. Um, and I don't want to get pulled. Because I could really do without having a hundred pound fine for something that I actually didn't intend to do. It genuinely went flying off my car. Either way though, I had an awesome day out with Sam, Jack and Reese. Great to see Reese's car again. Great to hang out with Sam and Jack. And freaking hell, um, Supra Sam, who's got that 2GZ RX7. Jeez, that thing's a weapon and a half. So sick. Anyways, yeah. Um, I'll probably wait until I get home to end this video and if I get pulled over by the feds I'll just film it. <laughs> Alright, just don't reverse into my house. Sick! I made it home with no front plate all the way from Colchester. Too easily. Anyways, yeah. Um, sick day. Sick cars. Um, Supra, GT86, 2GZ RX7 and a bunch of mates. Good times. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace!